So you have a cool way very cool. to measure pH. Correct. This is very high tech. And what it is is actually a little machine that we suck into, we suck it into the esophagus. And it stays there for two days and it measures the pH 24 7. So this is literally in the esophagus. Correct. And in that surgery, it, it becomes attached. It becomes attached just by suction. So it's like a suction cup. Two days later, it'll just. And this is an animation of, of that device, right? Yeah, so you may wonder what happens after it desuctions. It just goes down the intestines and out into the ocean, so we don't have to retrieve it. <laughs> but in the meantime, it's sending all this information to a little transmitter that you have right here on your belt. So let's talk about the readings here. All right. This is a reading of what's happening 24-7. In the meantime, you're also writing down what is happening during those two days. Here is the normal pH at four. Notice these spikes. Those are the bursts. Those are the volcano bursts of acid coming up. Acid in the stomach, the pH goes down. So reflux, 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 boom, boom, boom. So it's interesting because I want everyone to understand, when your pH goes down, that means the levels of acid in your esophagus are up. So right. here, 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 all these spots, you have a massive increase in the acid level, exactly. and you should never go below a pH of four, right? Never. Once you go below a pH of four, what happens is that acid that's not supposed to be here actually starts burning the esophagus. It can cause esophagitis, can cause precancerous states. Not a good thing, so it needs to be stopped in order to stay healthy.